Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to start uh, the series from Playwright. How we can do the automation uh, with Playwright within Java because nowadays many companies started to use this Playwright for an automation. So that is why we are going to also learn guys. Okay. Uh, this is very, very important. Uh, so let's talk about the Playwright first. So Playwright is completely free and open source tool we have which is developed by Microsoft organization. This Playwright is support for many languages like you can see this is for Java. This is an official website of the Playwright by the way. And uh, you can see this Playwright supported for Java, .NET, Python, .NET. These many languages also supported by the Playwright. Uh, if you talked about how many browsers it is supported, if I'm just scrolling down here. So this is support for Chrome, but not specifically for Chrome. It is a support from Chromium. Now the difference between Chrome and Chromium Chrome is partial open source, but Chromium is completely open source. Both is developed by the Chrome basically, but Chromium is completely uh, free and open source community we have. When I'm going to run our scripts that time, you will get to know what is meant by the Chromium. If the Chromium is not available on your system, then uh, when uh, you are going to run your scripts, it is going to automatically start downloading and you can able to run. No need to worry. Uh, like in the practical things, we are going to, I'm going to tell you. So if you talked about how many browsers supported by this Chrome, like uh, I mean to say play, Playwright, you can see this is Chrome, Safari, Edge, Firefox, Safari, these many browsers also supported. Here you can see cross browsers also supported by the, uh, you know, Playwright. So Playwright supports for all modern rendering images, including Chromium, WebKit and Firefox. Apart from it also supports for cross platform, like it, it is going to support over the Windows, even Linux, in, even in the Mac operating system, it is support. But the very, very important thing by default, Selenium run their test scripts in a headless browser. Okay, I'm, well, like we are going to learn these things with an practically as well. But we can run our cases with an headless or with an headed browsers as well. Apart from it, uh, as we already discussed, this is completely cross language we have. It is used for TypeScript as well. It is used for JavaScript as well, Python as well, .NET as well. And Java, as uh, are most of the guys, uh, the favorite language is Java. So your Playwright is also support for Java. Another big advantage of this, uh, you know, Playwright is it's support for test mobile web application as well. This is a beauty of the Playwright. And uh, now, if you talked about, if you go ahead with a Selenium web driver, so Selenium never ever support for test mobile web application. See. A mobile application is a different thing and mobile web is different thing. Let me give you the example. Suppose I am just going to open here one of the application. Let's see ICSA bank application. And if I'm going to open this in mobile view, you can see this is uh, what we can see. Uh, uh, this is uh, what we can see guys. This is mobile view we have. So uh, and here you can select any one of the, uh, you know, uh, like mobile versions here mobile platform you can choose here. So the point I want to tell you, your Selenium web, uh, your Playwright by default support for this mobile app, not to the mobile application. So mobile web uh, is going to supported by this Playwright. Then once this is done, now as you all know, the one of the biggest issue of the Selenium web driver is synchronization. Every time we have to use the thread.slip or we have to use an implicit weight or you, we have to use an explicit weight. Or even we have to set the different pooling weights as well. These are the different different criteria of the you know uh, our Selenium web browser. We have to define the different different weights. But here in the uh, what we can say in the playwright, uh, this is auto weight we have. So no flicky test. The one of the biggest problem with Selenium web driver is flicky test we have. But here we don't have a flicky test. So uh, the thing is here auto weight uh, pool mechanism we have in our upcoming session. This is series of play, right? So in an upcoming session, we are going to learn this thing in detail, how we can apply the auto weight. So auto weight is an, you know, uh, another advantage of the play, right? Then web first assertion, like we can apply the assertions directly and we can trace our thing. It means we can take a screenshot if our test case is failing. We can capture the screenshots. We can create the videos as well for a flicky test. So all these things we are going to perform practically. So this is uh, the biggest advantage of the playwright. Another advantage is guys, no trade of no limit. It means uh, like if you want to run uh, your test case now many times, probably you, uh, if you are working on the Selenium web driver, you heard many times, you watch many times, 
one instance work for the one Selenium web driver. So this is what the instance specific things we have. But here, like one instance we can use for a multiple days. This is the beauty of the uh, playwright. In the Selenium web driver, you have to log in, you have to log out every time you have to fill the instance. But here, you don't have to uh, worry about it. Apart from it, here we can achieve the you know multiple tab also we can handle nowadays Selenium web driver also supports such thing, but uh, Playland also you can handle the multiple tabs within same origin. Now probably uh, you watch probably if you are having knowledge of the Selenium web driver, you have to jump from one window to another window. This is what the problem basically we were having, right? But here in the Playwright, we don't have that kind of issue. We don't have that kind of issue. We can, with the same instance, with the same origin, we can jump from one window to another window. Even between the tabs also, we can switch. So this is the beauty of the player. Right? Anyways, uh, all these things we are going to learn practically as well. So about the, you know, frames, basically, you can switch within the within same origin. Even for shadow DOM elements also, we can, you know, switch it between the, or enter between the uh, frames. So we don't have to jump, like, in the Selenium web driver, driver dot switch to dot frame. This method we have to use for jump from one window to another window. But here we don't have to use this. So these are the things we have. Apart from it, uh, uh, the main thing about the Selenium web driver, it's provide you the you know full isolation or fast execution as well. So this is again advantage we have. It's uh, provide you the full isolation, full execution. So this is the beauty of the you know play, playwright which we already discussed. Apart from it, guys, it have a powerful tooling as well. Code generation, we can generate the code automatically as well. How to generate the code? That part also I'm gonna to tell you. No need to worry in our upcoming session. But yes, with the help of the playwright, we can generate our code automatically. So this is the beauty of the playwright. Now let's uh, select our Java language and let's uh, quickly jump on the uh, documentation of the Java. So this is how the you know installation we have. We can directly add the dependency here. How we can add a dependency? You can simply search Maven uh, like repository. You can search over here like this, and here you just need to search what you have, what you have to search, guys. Playwright, you have to search. Once you search this playwright, you can see. Let me quickly search. You can see first option comes up. Here you have to select this first option, and you have to like. I'm just gonna pick up the latest dependency. That is not a big deal for big deal for us, guys. You can pick up the latest dependency. Now, once this is done, now we have to add this dependency in our Maven project. So, now what exactly I'm going to do? I'm just opening my IntelliJ idea and I'm just creating the, uh, you know, what I mean to say, uh, I'm just creating the Playwright project here. So, let me create the new project here. I'm just clicking over here and I'm, I'm just writing down here uh, Playwright, Playwright demo project. This is what I'm just selecting. I'm just select once I'm done with this thing, I'm just selecting this Maven. Uh, this is by default thing I'm just selecting and I, I'm just creating the, uh, I'm just clicking on the create projects. Please make sure that whenever you are creating any playwright projects, make sure that the Java should be installed properly. So it is going to populate here. So um, on my machine, Java 70 is installed. It is going to populate it. Now I'm just clicking on the create projects. Once I'm clicking the create projects, you can see my project is going to create here. So this is what my by default project is create. Now, once my by default project is create here, you can see uh, this is Maven this project. So that is my popular XML file is automatically created here. Now, what I have to do, I have to add the dependency here. So for adding the dependency, probably you all uh, are aware. So wherever we have to add a dependency in the popular XML file, you have to use the dependency stack. Okay. Uh, and simple you have to paste it over here uh, which one is guys uh, like here i have to paste it so this things basically i have to paste it once i'm done with this thing i have to simple you can see at the right side right side of the corner probably you can see load maven changes options will have if i'm clicking over here my maven project is gonna load automatically you can see guys it is gonna load automatically now play playwright dependencies by default uh, you know, upload it or download it on my machine. That is why you can't able to see, but this is how we can uh, add the thing. Now, my dependency is successfully added over here. Okay. Now, what is the next section for me, guys? Next section I'm having, I have to write down the scripts to run at least one, uh, you know, scripts, any scripts. Like I have to open any application and then I have to close that browser. Very simple scripts I have to write down. 
So how basically we can write down the script for uh, for playwright? So you can simply navigate uh, the playwright documentation here as well, which is provided. You can simply navigate here as well. Okay, uh, other or otherwise, I'm gonna tell you how we can write down. So simple. I'm just opening this main class, and here let me quickly remove this part and let me add the clickbait. Now I'm just adding here. First of all, this is playwright we have, so I'm just writing down playwright. This option I'm just creating. Like this is an playwright is an interface we have. So this is what I'm just calling. I'm just creating a reference variable play. Okay, is equal to now I'm just writing down playwright dot create method I'm gonna use. So this is a fixed statement, guys. Like probably uh, you might aware whenever we are uh, creating any scripts with an Selenium web driver. So first of all, we have to write down web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver, right? So this is what the fixed statement we have to write down. Similarly, if you want to run our cases or automate our cases with an playwright, so playwright play is equal to playwright dot create this compulsory statement we have to write down. Now once we are done with this thing, what is the next thing we have? Next thing I am just creating an instance of the browser 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 is equal to now play whatever upper instance we have dot then i'm just selecting the chromium dot launch method this is what i'm just using this statement okay this is very simple thing i want to run my cases over the chromium that time so that is why i just use suppose i want to run my cases on the firefox then firefox i have to use suppose i want to run my cases on the edge then edge we have to use suppose i want to run my test case over the web kit then web kit we have to use so these are the thing basically we have to use this once we are done with this thing now what is it i have to do i have to create an Ob, ob, instance variable of the page interface so page page is equal to now browser dot new page uh, browser dot new page this is what compulsory code we have to use it means i have to open the new page once this is done which new page that we have to navigate so page dot i'm just creating using this navigate method and in the double code i'm just passing in like the edge double like https colon double forward slash www.amazon.in this is what exactly i'm just using guys and when this is done simply i'm just providing the driver uh, sorry simply i'm just using over here play dot close method i'm using okay this is simple code i just wrote down what is what code says guys it's creating an instance of the you know playwright then we are just launching the our url with an chromium then what is that? second third thing i'm just defining i'm just opening the new page which new page this is a new page i have to navigate and then after all i'm just closing my browser that's all this is very simple straight uh, pretty straightforward code i'm just creating here now if i'm just running my scripts you can see guys my script is gonna run if your chromium is not available on your system then automatically it is gonna download right now chromium is available on my system so it is not gonna download uh, it is gonna uh, uh, it is gonna download it is going to download guys automatically now if you can see the script is running and you can see here my script is running like play button we can see here and it is going to close automatically you can see now my script is run successfully now 100 percent you might have question i can't see any chromium application is open any amazon applications open guys okay, five minutes back i just told you uh, five minutes back i just told you Playwright by default run the cases in a headless mode. So if you want to open your web browser, then in the launch system, here is, you can see a similar kind of desired capability we have to set. So in the launch system, I have to use new browser type launch option dot. Here I have to set the property set headless false property. I have to define. Please make a note of this one. Once we are done with this thing. Then if I'm gonna run my program again, now you can see guys, your Chromium option is gonna open. Okay, your Chromium option is gonna open and your Amazon.in application is also gonna open and it is gonna close automatically as well. Please make a note of this point. You can see my Chromium option is open. Now probably you probably might see here, let me quickly, you know, comment it out this statement and let me run. If I'm gonna run my scripts here again one more time, I just comment out play.close. Now you can see guys, if my Chromium is open here at the bottom, you can see the Chrome browser color and Chromium browser color is gonna change. Let's wait for a couple of minutes, not minutes, second. You can see, you can see at the bottom of the whatever Chromium options we have, it is a color is changed. 
this chromium color is changed and this chrome is, uh, is changed. This is how exactly we can uh, run. This is what exactly I want to tell you. So uh, this is how we can basically we can run our scripts in a chromium. Suppose if you want to run our scripts over the Firefox, simple I have to provide here Firefox. And if I'm going to run my scripts, our script is going to run within Firefox. Okay, this is uh, what exactly I want to tell you. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. So our Firefox is going to open and our Amazon.in application also going to up and run. And you can see guys, my Firefox is also up and running and my Amazon.in application is also open and my browser is going to close. So this is how basically uh, what I want to convey the message about the Playwright. Playwright is a free open source tool which is very very important. There is a lot of documentation also provided by the Playwright. We will discuss in our upcoming session about the further thing, how we can generate the automation, te automated test, how we can you know perform the test runner, how we can setting up with an CI how we can, you know, um, tracing viewer, how we can perform everything we are going to learn uh, from scratch guys. Okay, please make a note of this point. And that's all about this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video.